The Midas fish is an aquatic animal indigenous to the planet Castle, also known as Gas 2, in the Gas binary star system. Castle being known for its oceans, which contain islands and small continents that have excellent tourism revenues due to its majestic coastlines and turquoise gold, golden brown, orange sky vistas. It is in this environment that aquatic enthusiasts flock to find the golden color morphing Midas fish which is a protected species on its home world, and is sometimes poached. A breeding program to replenish their numbers, overseen by Castle's Governor's Council, has been underway since SEY 2936. Midas fish vary from large to small, and have one dorsal fin, four triangular shaped pectoral and ventral fins, and an indented tail fin. All Midas fish are protendrous, or born male, when they reach about seven standard earth years of age, larger males will change sex, becoming female. Coloration is widely varied, with most wild Midas fish being mixed grey and white with black shaped tall fins and a gold streak at the corner of both eyes. Pink, orange, white, and black specimens have also been observed. The highly sought gold color morph, characterized by shimmering yellow scales streaked with white, exists in nature in small frequencies. Its prevalence in the hobbyist trade is a product of many generations of selective breeding. Usually, Midas fish live in small groups among the warm ocean reefs of Castle consisting of one large female and a mature male, along with a few non-breeding immature males. If the female dies, then her reproduction partner will change sex and one of the other males in the group will mature and become her mate. They are herbivorous and spend most of their time grazing on seagrass or using their powerful jaws to crush and ingest pieces of algae-coated coral. The polyps, along with any coral particulates, pass harmlessly through their digestive systems. When it is time to breed, the female will lay eggs in a sheltered area and the breeding male will fertilize them. As the eggs mature over a period of about one week, the group of fish will take turns guarding them with potential predators far away until they hatch. The fry will disperse after another week of being guarded. They breed yearly, early in their local warm season. Midas fish are endangered on Castle. This is particularly due to the development of resorts near their habitats, but largely due to overhunting to supply their pet trade. The capture and trade of wild Midas fish was banned on Castle in SEY 2927, and in the UEE at large, in 2934. Thanks to this ban and Castle's Golden Touch repopulation project, the Midas fish's numbers have been steadily rising and are expected to reach a non-threatened level in late 2960s. Captive bred Midas fish remain legal to own and trade. Thank you for sticking around. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you to my long-term subscribers. I make these videos as much for you as I do for myself. Protendraus. That is the word of the night. Protendraus. <laughs> Which means that they have both types of organs uh, from, for mating, but uh, the male ones mature first. The more you know. <laughs> I had to go to a pronunciation thing and figure that one out. But uh, this was an interesting video. I want to give a shout out to uh, basically the Star Citizen Fish Hanger, uh, Scatty Laddie Maid with 12 subscribers back nine years ago with 15,000 views. Uh, this is the video I have posted many times as a joke and a meme on discords and such and on the forums on the sun spectrum and such and never actually knew who made it. So thank you, Scatty Laddie, uh, for putting this video up. So shout out to him. I did not get video of the Midas fish swimming around my fish tank. Uh, it, for those who, who were back then, y we got them for free. We got a fish tank mark one for free and a Midas fish. And then you can pick up more fish in the Voyager direct store for like a thousand UEC a pop. Um, so hopefully when those are fish tank 
uh, decor those hangar decorations, which fish tanks are considered, are in the game. Uh, back again in the persistent hangar tech. Hopefully, we will be able to decorate our fish tanks, and the Midas, the mighty Midas fish that you see the goldfish swimming in front of you, uh, will ride again. <laughs> And uh, they are uh, wonderful creatures. I, I think it's one of the cooler things in the game is I, I almost use like a screensaver between waiting for some buddies and stuff and um, thinking about things uh, popping into the hangar module and spending more time staring at the fish tanks and all the different hangar decorations and exploring the locker from another universe um, and yelling yet again about that dang uh, workbench that they haven't changed in the next in this recent patch. Uh, then and why doesn't why doesn't it work yet? Just as a use feature that doesn't do anything. Um, <laughs> I would reassure myself and center myself again by uh, looking at that at the. Uh, the fish tank and one of my favorite fish was the Midas fish and the Oshi was my second uh, favorite. So uh, the, the interesting thing about these these fish is like, once again, their hangar decorations in many of the starships that we will be flying uh, fully loaded uh, that are luxury, particularly there are fish tanks. So I think of your 890 jumps. I think of the eight of the 600 I after the golden pass. And I think of the Phoenix series, the, the constellation Phoenix and the constellation Phoenix Emerald in particular. And fun fact in the Phoenix series, there is a original Phoenix, uh, uh, a model inside the fish tank that's next to the hot tub so outside of the hot tub if you look inwards towards the hot tub you will see it at the base there there is a cracked in half phoenix mk1 the model one edition of the older variant a uh, low poly model there of that ship right there inside the newer phoenix now the funny thing is when they do a pass the eventual pass on the entire constellation series will they put the mk2 model if there's major ch external changes will they put the mk2 model inside there as well so there's just gonna be a pile of these of these dead <laughs> of these broken of these broken starships of the old phoenixes and one very confused midas fish crawling or flying or <laughs> swimming around in circles above them <laughs> I don't know. And uh, in particular on the Phoenix series, again, uh, there's mini fish tanks in both of the smaller staterooms. So it'll be interesting to see VIPs uh, wondering, why did I get this fish instead of that one on their smaller fish tanks? So yeah, it'll be interesting. The Midas is a, is a controlled species on Castle, which is part of the UEE. Uh, when I kind of did some editing on this on this. Uh, this verbiage, there was a little bit of wooden dialogue talking about like they are a, a government uh, part of the UEE government. They have one voting spot. And I figured that we don't need to get into that. We're talking about a fish and, you know, emphasizing the world it comes from and the environment. And the, the, the fish is almost a reflection of the beauty of those turquoise and golden, dark brown, burnt orange skies and such that, 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 are, that are in the sky and the beautiful coastlines filled with coral as far as the eye can see that are full of tourists. And uh, the Midas fish captures a little bit of that, that you can bring back to your hangar, that you can bring back to your living quarters, that you can bring back to your uh, luxury ship if you're lucky and blessed enough to have one. If you are looking into the furthest reaches of your hangar and on the, on the website, and you've noticed that my, you know, your section named my hanger does not have a Midas fish, does not have a fish tank MK1. What I recommend to you is not to despair. I highly, highly suspect that at the very least there will be in-game purchasable items of all these items and that at least some of them will come over to the subscriber store and more likely also be generally available with new items for the hanger decorations in the subscriber store. Voyager Direct was not subscriber. Anyone could purchase it. And um, I think that should hold true when it comes back around. As a reminder, right now, these items are paperweights. They are visible in your inventory, but they are unusable. Um, each patch, you'll see me cycle through the inventory on my earliest videos, including the most recent one from 3.18.2 PTU, um, because I, I remark that there's a lot of items in there, and I'm searching through it to see if some of these hangar decorations have had some work done on them. And I have not seen much, but I have seen some new labels, and uh, they are in there. Once again, they are not usable. You are not missing out right now. There is nobody running around with fully fitted up fish tanks full of fish. 
and all the other wonderful items from the hangar decoration days. Also, in the credits for this video in a moment, uh, the cards, I'm going to put my video of my hangar tour. I highly recommend stopping in there and checking out the beginning of it. It's, if I remember right, I started from like the earliest days and worked my way through. So if you're really interested in checking out all the little items that you will be able to have access to in the future, they are there for uh, talk and um, all the experiences I had with them. Unfortunately, I don't have video uh, from those days and that is regretful. But rest assured, uh, when the Persistent Hangar is back, there will be long form storytelling and many, many antics. And in all honesty, one of the coolest things I'm looking forward to is not making content on it. It's exploring these items and sharing them with the population at large in the community, uh, inviting people over to my hangar to come check out different items. And uh, we'll see where that goes. You know, I, I think the community in general is, is stronger when we can share and kind of hang out together and really experience all the little nuances of what's available. And yes, even something as, as, as small as a golden fish pet is, uh, is pretty dang cool. And it makes the verse a little more interesting. All right. Fly safe.